instructor by profession and when I was studying at the New Zealand College of Chiropractic I was lucky enough that Jane is someone that Dr Jane here from Access would be someone that came and would speak at the college and would do these intro nights and tasters at the college and um, I just thought that was normal. Well, <laughs> it was a normal kind of thing for us to do at Chiropractic College. And uh, so I thought, oh yeah, there's this guy and he does this stuff. And we were really lucky. We were exposed to lots of speakers like that. Um, but a really good friend of mine, Fiona Miller, she, she was an access facilitator. And so I had the beauty of being able to have my bars run and have access as a small part of my life through Chiropractic College. And then once I graduated, I thought, that stuff's quite cool and my life needs some more change and maybe I'll go back and see what else I can get out of it. And so I did the bars and kind of got hooked from foundation and went to my first kind of advanced classes and here I am. <laughs> that was a lot of years ago. <laughs> Something that I always say about access is that I've done a lot of things and I continue to do a lot of things and read a lot of things and research a lot of things, but access is the gold standard for consciousness work in my interesting point of view. It is the most comprehensive and pragmatic and life-changing set of work that I've come across and that's why I keep using it and I keep teaching it and I keep introducing people to it. who does this belong to <laughs> and like every time who does this belong to um, and it's really funny because it's one of those tools that you're kind of like this is so juicy surely it's mine because it's no fun if you just have to return it to sender it's not even yours <laughs> but it it's definitely the tool that I think comes up the most and um, it's kind of the most fun to ask someone who's really you know deep down in some kind of funk and you go is that even yours <laughs>